in order for the steady hand game to work, we need our PCB, which stands for Printed Circuit Board. Here's the example one that we're going to be using inside our product. So, as you can see from the circuit board, there are various copper tracks running around, and these act as the wiring to connect each one of the components together. In my hand, there is a piece of raw material ready to make a circuit board. It's made out of phenolic resin, and there's a layer of copper on this surface, which is covered by a special film which stops the light getting to it. The copper coating, the copper has a coating on it that reacts to light. Inside this box, there is a transparency, which if I hold it up, you can see has got the negative for the tracks already in place. So, if we place this down inside our little box. We peel the protective film off the PCB, exposing the material. Now this material is reactive to light, so we need to work reasonably quickly, and we're going to cover it up like that. And then once I turn on this case, you can see that it glows just like a sunbed, and we close the lid. Whilst the lid's closed, it's going to be exposed to the light, and a reaction will take place on the coating. Once that reaction's taken place, we're going to put it into a combination of different chemicals. So the first one's this bath here, and this is developer. What the developer does is cause it to harden, and that forms a, like a plastic coating, which stopped the acid from eating away the circuit. So everywhere the light hits, there's a reaction that takes place. The developer then washes away any parts of film around that, leaving a thin, very thin layer of plastic over the top of the copper. Once the developer's been washed off in the middle piece here, which is water, it's then gonna go into the acid bath. Now what the acid will do is eat through the copper. The reason it's stored in plastic is that acid will not eat through plastic containers. However, it will eat through most of the things, so you do have to be very careful when working with acid. Ideally, you wear a rubber glove or something similar. So there is a timer on this case. This will run for approximately two minutes. Once that's done, I'll open the lid, we'll take it out and we'll put it into the developer. It goes into the developer for around about 10 seconds, which it obviously isn't very long. That's long enough for that chemical reaction to take place. Once that's happened, it then goes into the water bath, where it'll get rinsed, and then it's gonna go into the acid. And it stays in the acid for about 10 minutes in order to be able to eat away at the copper. So, in order to move bits between various baths, I've got a pair of bamboo tongs, because it's better than my fingers getting eaten. So the light's just gone off. We take out the circuit, and when tilted around under the light, you won't be able to see it on the video, you can just about make out the tracks. So I'm going to put that into the developer for, as I said, about 10 seconds. The reason we keep moving it around is to make sure that Nothing gets washed off. We'll give it a quick check. A little longer. What we should be able to see when we take it out of the developer is that those tracks have started to appear and you should be able to make those out on the board. We now need to put it into the acid. As you can see the acid is like a yellowy colour, it's quite a strong smell, quite vinegary. So we're going to put the lid back on that and we're going to turn on the bubble. So now you can hear it bubbling away and what that does is it keeps the acid rotating and etches away so it removes the copper nice and evenly. After about a minute to a minute and a half we'll take it out and have a quick check to make sure that it's going. I'm just going to put a timer on so that I know to keep an eye on it. So the PCBs have now been in for approximately a minute and a half so if I lift up the acid and we can see that the copper started to go like a dusky pink colour. If we just give it a quick wash, 
put it into the water there. And we can see that the colour is starting to change and you can quite clearly see those tracks on the circuit board. After a couple more minutes, let's have a look. Oh, and you can see that the tracks are really starting to show through now. Let's do a quick rinse. So you can see there is very definitely something starting to take place and those tracks are being etched. And the copper itself is being eaten away. So we'll put it back in for another few more minutes and then I'll take it out and show you what happens with it. It's now been about eight minutes since they first went in, so if we take them out and have a look and we'll see how they're getting on. So the water back on. And you can see that most of the copper has now been etched away from around the tracks. So there's just a very small amount of copper left to do just on that bottom corner, so another 30 seconds so. So as a quick recap, it goes, take the film off, make sure you put it face down into the case, turn the light on, and the UV will expose this special coating on top of the PCB. Once we've done that, it goes into the developer solution for a few seconds to a minute, depending on what temperature the developer's at. Then it gets rinsed off using the little shower in the middle, at which point it then goes into the acid bath where the copper is etched. And once we're finished, we should just put this into the middle section. and just tip out our circuit board. And as you can see, it's now been thoroughly etched and left us with our finished circuit board. This one's just come out of the acid etching tank, which means that at the moment, it's still got a thin layer of protection on the surface. So before we can start soldering, the first thing we need to do is use some wet and dry paper to remove any oxidisation. So simply rub the surface to remove any of the potential plastic solution which is left on the surface. And as you can see, if I hold it closer, as I've started to wear it away. Some bits have gone a dull colour, some bits are still shiny. You're looking to make sure that everything has gone this sort of more dull colour. Mm -hmm.